Hashtag Thriller City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Hey, turn it back now. Let this shit see then. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. And we back in New Jack Thriller City, man. Yo, yo, yeah, it's going down, man. Hey, look here. I'm finna jump right on into it, but first, let me introduce my co-host, man. Hey, I got the new queen of comedy, man, in here right now. She hails from the west side of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, everybody know her. Y'all done seen her. Erica Duchess. Yeah. yeah. Get up and show them your school clothes, girl. Get up and show them your school clothes. These is not school clothes. These are um, Jack Thriller podcast clothes. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Now, yeah. put my name on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put my name on it. God damn it. So she said it belongs to me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take your word for it, man. Okay. Hey, my other co-pilot uh, for the day, man, this is my blood cousin right here, man. And y'all, y'all, he didn't took over the whole world back in 07, man, with his move, man, his group, Cash Camp, you know, created the Soldier Boy dance, the Shorty Low L.O. dance, the Get Silly. Man, he is the godfather of the crank moving. Y'all give it up for Lil Playboy. Yeah. What up, y'all? What up, what up, what up, what up? What up? What up? Man, show him your school what clothes, up? man. Yeah, yeah. What you did this episode, bro? Uh, I, I, I don't know how to spell it. God damn, man, that's that's heavy. I can't I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. You doing your thing, man. Hey, and the man of the hour, man, he hails from Kansas City, man. He one of the new kings of R and B right here, man. You know what I'm saying? First time I'm ever seeing this guy. He was, uh, you know, what I'm saying with my dogs with R and B money, and I think he doing some things over there R and B money, man. Yo. Y'all give it up for the one, the only, T Rail. T Rail. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like man, welcome okay. to New Jack Thriller City, my boy. How you doing, bro? How man, you doing, I'm good, bro? man. Thank you. Uh, We've we been talking about this for, I feel like, a year and a half, maybe maybe two years now, trying to get you here. We've been going hard about this, boy. I've been in the inbox saying, hey, man, I can come see you, boy. What's going down? And man, what did you just say? <laughs> I need to see you, boy. What's going down? <laughs> okay, there it go. Right. Where, you, where you coming? You must have been singing all night, my boy. Man, I've been singing every day. I'm in the studio, man, just trying to get right. Okay, trying to get trying right. right. Sharpen like, my tool. Love don't need love. It don't need none. No. Mm. Tell them, no. What, what does that even mean, bro? Love don't show no love. Love don't show no love. Yeah, wow. love don't show no love. You got to you gotta elaborate on that. Put me in, put me on, nigga. I was, I mean, I was listening to that. I was like, oh, shit. Because I was with somebody that just told me I don't know what love is. I really, I know what love is, but obviously, if you got all the answers, you ain't showing me what love truly is. Because the way you treated me, that ain't love. That's, that's, I know what love is. Love is how my mom hugged me in the morning. You know, love, love is how your kid... How your kid uh, care about you, regardless of what you go through with them, that's real love. I can I can sense what real love is, but that love that these women be showing me, that ain't real love. That ain't, I, these what, 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 women, how, how, how old are you? First go of all, ahead, how, ahead, I just want to know how old are you? How old are you? I'm thirty. So I can just know what I'm talking with. Okay, thirty. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's your speed. No, 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 yeah, look mm. at him. Mm. Dang. Mm. Yeah. I like Dang. it. I like this. Let me get another little drink. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me one or two. I'll drink with you. And while yes. y'all doing all these outfits, Shay, you said Blincy, I got this Walmart shirt on. Come on, stand <laughs> up, stand up. You yeah. stand up. Show us your stuff. Show us your hey. stuff, y'all. Hey, okay. Yeah. Hey, man, who, who need Blincy yeah. when you can sing? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. I'm a little girl in Walmart clothes. Okay. You hear me? Come on. Let's make a I deal. Yeah, okay. Let's, okay. let's okay. make our oh, discount leader. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. So don't, don't let them fool you, Jack, because his uh, his pants cost eight hundred dollars. <laughs> and then there's that. These ain't called eight hundred. These. He's actually called me fifty dollars <laughs> uh, at a at a uh, one of them ghetto stores in uh, Seattle. Booty. Booty. Yeah, yeah. I support also support local owned and like black owned, and I go to their stores and buy their clothes too. Okay, that's how I am. This this one of my people's fits, man. That's hard. You gotta lock in. I get you some, get hey, you some shit. Man. Get to me. I'm rocking. 
No, God, uh, th- th- that's how I got Nigga when you were gonna tell me that We were related motherfucker <laughs> Hey man I, be, I, I done known this nigga for 35 Look. years And some shit Nigga ain't told me about With no Balenciaga <laughs> Ain't told me none of that With a Mr. Miyagi clothes Mr. Or, or Mr. Miyagi what, what, Nah what nah I, The come first come first serve fit This is these sweatpants And this shirt The Balenciaga yeah, I, I wanna wear some rice and roni too I got you I got you Jack I got you Come on, oh, man. Jack, put I like your sweats too. But that was, you yeah. like it? Yeah, yeah I rock that too. Right that's it. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wear that. Where are you that's from? Jack Miller shit? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. No, next, give me one. Jack, next I'm your friend. I'll wear it. you wear yeah. it too? I'll wear it. I that's wear it on stage, nigga, at a show. Stop lying. No, no cap. <laughs> no lies told here. No okay. cap. What man, he said. Don't, don't, don't tell me we friends <laughs> for real now. She, yo, Erica gonna talk to me after the show, man. I know what love is. She might I know, know what love I it. know what love is. Hey, she had a couple drinks in her. That's so crazy. Look, no. I was just talking to somebody about different levels of love. Okay. And that's where I'm at now. Like, like relationships. Wow. Like, different levels of Oh, I like what you just said. Relationships. Yeah, Ooh. like, like. How you many know how you have. It? No, 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 no. No. Like, you know mm-hmm. how you have puppy love. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you get a little You older. breed dogs. Yeah, then you, when you get a little older, you think you're in love. Then you. Um, learn how to love somebody like unconditional love. Like that's how loving another soul, not like my mama, yeah, my, top tier. my siblings. Yeah, I'm just now on that level. Not like my, you know, you automatically love your kids, your mom, your daddy, your, 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 that's unconditional. But loving like somebody like just, that you wanna invite it in your life and to love them unconditionally, that's a whole nother level. You just loving that, the soul of that person, the human being of that person. Even when it's inconvenient, even when shit going wrong. It's when they wrong, when they got all kind of flaws, when they dealing with their demons, like all of that, but you still just loving that person just unconditionally. Like, this not your mom, this not your dad. You gotta love them like your side piece. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You talking about spouse-wise? You gotta love them like an intimate relationship with. Yeah, yeah, so this, this, I'm experiencing a whole different type of Loving somebody like you. you gotta love somebody like Erica's you love your side yeah, piece. Got a man. No, 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 no. I, no, I do not got a man at home. Okay. But I'm just saying, I'm just learning. I just learn how to love an individual like just unconditionally, and that's that's different for me. Like you know how you love somebody, y'all being loved, kicking and going together for years, 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 years. Then y'all can just disappear and don't talk to nobody ever. I was married to a nigga six months, and I ain't seen a nigga since. Damn. You see what I'm saying? And don't even care nothing about it. But when you just meet somebody, like, that's different. Like, I didn't know that this existed on Earth, especially, like, this time. Like, you can just really, like, love somebody. Just that that human being that just flowing, like, unconditionally, if that makes sense. 100%. <laughs> it does make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Every time I love him, I mean, he got a good heart, too. This is just, just my spirit talking with him. He have, like, a good heart, right? Him. He do cardio. I, I never met him. Never seen. Him. <laughs> just I just see him go viral on Instagram with all his um his inaccuracies. He ain't got um, no diseases. You know, not his. I didn't say diseases. I said with, you know with his um you know it was on the shade room stuff like that. Oh, got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, and I just seen. Yeah. I just okay. I just seen that, and I'm like, who is this dude? And I went into his page. I'm like, oh, I got a story. Then it's so crazy. You called me, be like, can you go on the show with TV? I said, I just seen his drama. Yeah. Like that. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got a lot of love in his heart. Though. Yeah, one hundred. Well, he seen from the heart. Yeah, yeah, and it long. He been hurt too. Yep. This is my spirit talking. He been hurt. Mm, Come mm. time. He talking need he need some sexual healing. Yeah, plenty 100%. of it. Plenty of it. Yeah. But it's gonna come to him though. Mm. No, I just I gotta love me like you love your side piece. Mm. Ooh. Uh, you got you got to break that down. How, Cause how how you love side piece? Because look. When your, your 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 side piece don't trip on you, she ain't she ain't bitching. She she got the food cooked, the house clean. When you got man girl, she ain't want to do it half the time. She 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 she, she lost that love for you. you. You gotta always keep that side piece love. Oh, you should, most time you treat your side piece better. You treat your man girl. You buy her more flowers. You do the other one. You get her more food. Another one. You you care more about your side. She really your main, but your side really your side for real. But you just treat her like shit. But you got this main your side piece for real. He's treating her real good. You gotta love me like you love your side piece. Cause you sneaking. Yeah, yeah it's more fun. And she's trying to win you over, so that's she gonna why. do whatever she got. Yeah, it's the thrill. You become a, that man. Right. That's why right. I don't even want to be nobody saying? boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? I just 
Let's just let's let me let me chase you the whole goddamn six months. We just you know let's not put a title on. Let's let me keep chasing you. I don't want to do all that, man. What am I, Tom and Jerry? I'm toxic. I like that. Nah, you yeah, you sound like a little future, like I'm toxic. I I want to keep. I want to keep the chase up. Make it make it a thrill. That's the that's the inspiration for all the music right there, huh? Yeah, man. You 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 work better in turmoil. Yeah, I start problems on purpose. Oh, got you, one of them niggas. Then it crazy. Damn, nigga, I got you cheating. I got yeah. See, I'm about to go to the studio. You gonna get shot trying to make an album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usher's best playing. album to me is Confessions. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's a that's 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 the uh, tale of what he done been through. I see. Well, you you about to go to the Super Bowl, goddamn, following this blueprint. It makes sense to me, man. Keep on, goddamn, doing crazy <laughs> shit. Oh, nah. Keep on doing crazy shit. I'm, he, I'm, he, I'm in. He just talking now. He thirty. Once he get that woman, woman, he gonna be like, you know what? Not no side piece for me. He just experiencing that especially y'all this time y'all generation this instagram life y'all the eyes and I, the, 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 I believe y'all generation is just the same y'all just ain't have ig uh, that's a good question we kind of the same but we're more like my um, grandma was hot my grandma was hot at it too she she didn't have ig you know hold, hold yeah, on first grandma. how old your grandma is Cause he might be one of them niggas. She you got a fifty year old grandma. Yeah, you got a fifty year old grandma. Cause he grandma, never thirty. My, my grandma, she she she'd be like seventy six. Seventy six, okay. She yeah, 76. I'm just I'm just saying like a, I used to ask my, no, mama, my mama when, mama. when I get in trouble for something, I go, Mom, what was you doing at age twenty five? Mm. You know, you I, I know you in the church now, Mama. Mm. But what was you doing at twenty five? Chasing Jane Brown. So don't ju don't judge don't judge me. Boss, right. you not judge. Mm. I, that's not true. judge me. That's true. You was, you was, what was you doing at 25? Then I get my ass smacked anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bum with a real pimp <laughs> hand. Hey, the, uh, Playboy, you know what love is? Because you, you, I, you I in the same club. To, I, I was just about to ask him, asking me all this like, stuff. It, like it, I agree. I think it's levels of love. But I don't, me, I just don't think that you could love somebody unconditionally that, like, you didn't, like, just give birth to or you ain't just come from. I couldn't see myself, like, that's my, uh, that's my girl or that's my wife. They say that unconditional, but nah, sometimes you're gonna get so mad, you gonna, fuck this bitch. I would never say that to my mama or to my daughter. You understand what I'm saying? Cause I yeah. unconditionally love my mama. Yeah. I would never sit there and say no shit like that to her. Like, man, stupid ass bitch getting on my goddamn nerve. But guess what? Your wife get on your nerve, that, that your girl getting on your nerve. I feel like that's not that unconditional love. But I do feel like where you like madly in love, you and you see somebody you get the butterflies and you want to be nice to him? Yeah, I believe in all that. I done seen it about three, four times in my life. You know how, I mean? how old are you? I'm 33. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm years old. So, like I said, I'm just not getting to that. Like, you but can, I ain't never been married see, either, right, though. Like, you know I couldn't I mean? see it at 33 or no 25, nothing like that. Like I said, I'm four years old. And I'm just now seeing, experiencing that, like, you of course you go you get mad at your mom you get mad at your kids I get mad at my kid I cuss my daughter out you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying I cuss my daughter out and stuff like that but that's you my like, baby look here bitch you, no, no, you, no, no, no 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 don't no. do that but I cuss my daughter you ain't I never said bitch if you don't get your ass in that you room know, I don't see it I don't love I don't, so bad that you will cuss somebody out so bad and it hurts you and but I just know it hurt them too but you gotta think like would you do that to your parents? Would you do that to your When children? I hang the phone up, I'll be like, man, bitch, you. Boy, no, you, even, you I mean, you everybody, mama, everybody like. different. It, I know people that cuss their parents out and stuff. I would never yeah. do that. You well, know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Yeah, that. so that's different. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's so many different levels of it. I know people that's very disrespectful if to you, their parents. If you I never cuss my mama out or my dad out, anything like that. But I'm just saying, it when you. You, you still got a, a, a life to live. Like I'm saying, I'm just now experiencing Man. that right there like loving somebody like we don't got to be together like i don't got to stay with them mm. but but forever that person will have like my heart forever that person can call me for anything forever that person you know what i'm saying like you got somebody like that right now you know, know what i'm saying like right now but like my exes i got a couple of baby i got a couple of baby daddies and shit them niggas can't call me for shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> They can't call me for a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? And but when I was with them, I was with them. I was in love with them. I loved them. But it's not that. I don't even got no kill with this person. But at this point, this person can go on by their life and I can go on by my life. But I'm still just love that person. Just genuinely love them. Like unconditionally. I like what you just said right here. And you're right. You don't have no business cussing your mama out unless you get her good 
Mother's Day gifts and Christmas presents. That, I ain't that's the only I way ain't it's acceptable yeah. for you to talk to your mom. But I know people that cuss their mom. My, their my first own. definition of like learning, uh, you know, unconditional love was like in the Bible when it say like God, How God loves, loves and God is love. So I feel like I I don't know. I know I can love them like uh, like a romantic love, but just that unconditional like a bad love. Key love. I don't Kate. think I could I couldn't cuss God out. No matter what he put yeah, me, oh I no. can't be so angry. But like, I can't do it, you know. That's just me, because mm. I got that unconditional love for him. Mm. But when it comes to like, uh, man, we all know women be getting on our goddamn nerves, doing dumb ass shit, have us lacking at the gas station, niggas plotting, all kind of crazy ass dumb shit, and you like, get your dumb ass in the car. <laughs> she got them walking all slow. It's like <laughs> now you got them niggas following you home. Like nah, you know what I mean. So it's like you. Can, just all different frustrations come in those type of relationships which i don't mean mm. i hate you and i don't mean that uh you know you want to see you bad you know, yeah, yeah but, but you know that's just how relationships are uncle. sometimes man ain't no relationship perfect never no, you know ain't none I mean? of them perfect so it's no. gonna have its ups and downs but it just seemed like when you in that romantic relationship you got that you're in an uh, intimate relationship with somebody y'all sharing soul ties and all this other shit. it's just like what do you do? It, it's hard to keep your cool sometimes. Like he said, it, it should be toxic sometimes, oh, even when you don't want it to be. It's hard, especially like like it's it's hard. Period. Just dealing with another. You just gotta find somebody being like, perfect like, with. Huh? You just gotta find somebody being perfect with. Yeah. See, you Im imperfect. You gotta find somebody being perfect with. You single I, have, I have situationships. Okay. Situationships with an S plural. Yeah. yeah. Situationships. I'm, so, oh. I'm not perfect. What What is a situationship? When, what's, what's like what he said, them no titles. Just want to do the booty, do um want to do the booty, <laughs> want them to cook. Man, I do live on the road twenty four seven. I'm on tour. I'm always gone. I, I can't be with nobody. I'm always gone. That's you can't be with nobody when you're doing this all day every day. I like I like money. I like my career. I like moving yeah. around. So a relationship, I, I ain't got no time to be no Romeo. Right. And what's a Romeo? A Romeo cake, people be caking all day with that girl. Late, yeah. late to everything. Can't do nothing. Got to go inside oh, at ten o'clock. Can't I can't. say it ain't got to be all day. It's Man, all can't go to, what has got to be? What, what, what it has ain't got to be all day. What has got to be? All put, day. Can you put us Especially on? Especially when you're a woman, you know you got a man who's on a roll, who have a career such as his. You know what I'm saying? You, it's certain thing that's need to be like understood you know what i'm saying like, they come with it like, but it's nothing wrong with you being with your woman cuddling with your girl when you have the time you know what i'm saying because yeah. you're gonna have that time sometimes it's nothing wrong with holding hands and taking her out on dinner dates and shit like that it's nothing wrong with nah, that but see he, he's so busy that when he do give her that let's say four days out the month she gonna be nagging, bitch, and complaining about the other goddamn twenty-eight days. Facts. That's what Stressing I was just. Him out. He can't uh, perform how he wants. That's want. what I was can't saying. Gotta be a certain exactly. understanding. A certain understanding. Okay, that, that Erica, not when I didn't love when you fall in love unconditionally, like you saying, or when you got that love, love feeling. Yeah, you, man, you might no pull up. You might be pull you, up. You telling me oh, I'm yeah. home for three days and you want to spend three days nagging, <laughs> talking shit, talking shit. Wrong. I'm on for three days. Mm -hmm. You want you want to talk shit for three days? Oh, we oh we love each other. Or what you miss me like you say you do when I'm on the road, or when I get home you want to see her nag. You must not. Miss, you must miss nagging with me. Mm -hmm. If if that's if that's the term of you missing me, because you want to waste our little time we got together for this. You want to get everything off your chest. Let's, how about you? How about the first day we love each other? Then the second day, then you say something. We ain't into it. But that all three days because you're trying to get something off your chest, that's kind of crazy. When you got a person that's, you got a person that's taking care of you, and doing what he got to do for you, and you ain't working, and 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 you can just focus on your life and might go be, go to school. But when he come on, you want to nag all fucking day. What about the times he's on the road? This road life is hard. Who you telling? This road life hard. When you when you going show to show, city city dealing with fans, dealing with uh, bullshit promoters, mm -hmm. you dealing with Ooh. um you dealing with half ass employees sometimes, you dealing with airlines, hotels, attitudes. You when you come home, you want to just sit have down. somebody to help you smooth that thing. Yeah. Out. So I can be I can do bad by myself. Shout out to Tyler Perry. I can do bad all by myself. That's true. So if I'm gonna come home, I don't want to do bad sitting here listening to your nagging. I'd rather play 2K. And call somebody a side piece that ain't gonna nag. You ain't this side Cause she piece. she she ain't gonna she ain't she she miss me, but she gonna have a good time with you. 
Because mm-hmm. she been mm-hmm. waiting to see your ass. She really mm-hmm. don't want to wait and see you. She it's your man I got the problems with you. Are you my enemy or are you my woman? Okay. So, okay, I just want to understand. I, you know, just say, t- you heard what my nigga said. Hush, there. hush your mouth. Okay, just take me inside like a man's head. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll take you in there. Let's go. I, I, I'm. No, 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 no. That don't mean. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. You try to get that bad. <laughs> I want to go inside. Hey man, no, I got no, no. A, I got a uh, con- not not contract. Uh, uh, what do you think you feel? An like? application when you come work with T-Rail. One of the main things is, do you have a girlfriend? You got one of them motherfuckers. I might not hire your motherfucking ass. Cause I, it's hard to get you go on the road. Your girl trip. We gotta go. I don't want to go home in two days. I want to kick yeah. it for the extra three. You know, I don't want. You gotta go home, not me, brother. Cause your girl tripping. I'm, I'm like all that. I want. Hey man. Come on with it. Now, kids, go, we expect kids. But uh, girlfriends, that shit crazy, man. I don't got to go home. You can't even work with me. I'm paying you, bro. So you're paid for the day. You pay to chill with me. Now, women complain, but they want that money. They want but, that Chanel purse. They want you to come home and pay them bills. They want that food in the refrigerator. Kids, private school pay for. New tennis shoes. Four $500 hairdos. They want you to pay for that. But they want you to spend time with them at the same time. So where are we getting this money from? Or you want me to hustle? Either right. you want a rich, or you want a rich hustler, or you want a broke nigga that's gonna lay with you. Hey, I'm a man. I have sex with you in a cardboard box if that's what you want to do. But is you gonna let me have sex with you inside that cardboard, cardboard box? You ain't. Come, on. Come on, now. She ain't. <laughs> she ain't. Huh? But no, she ain't. Huh? Uh, yeah. yeah so I'm what over kind here of chasing you, you when... listening to your shit, nah. just to pay all your bills. Pay all that's your shit. The that's the prize. Is that the prize? <laughs> is it me or is it conspiracy? Yo. Yeah. Boy, y'all get on my nerve. I'm just oh. saying, oh, you okay? Because women, we so, you know, I ain't gonna say we simple. We're not simple. No, y'all not. Y'all I'm saying, complicated. <laughs> Annie, we're not y'all deal with y'all, 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 y'all go off emotion, not logic. Yeah, Full of yeah, shit. we off. I, so, I, are you giving while you on this road doing your thing and, and all that? So, are you, it, are you giving that main lady her reinsurance? Like I give main lady home reassurance if main lady doing main main lady things. So what, come on now, what, now what's yeah, the that what's saying? Thing? I believe a relationship is 50-50, right? Come on now. Yeah. All right, now you hear me, child. women only see cheating as as a uh, as, uh, as a problem in a relationship. Now what about house clean? What about clean my house? What about kids taken care of? What about what about I'm taken care of? What about mentally? What about mentally loving me? Um, that's this. That's another half of it. If you ain't giving me this. I ain't giving you this. You want me to stop cheating? I want you to take care of the goddamn mouse. But what if the cheating? I want you to take care of me while I gotta take care of you. But, but what you, if the cheating don't put her like in a depression mode? Put her in depression mode? Yeah. What did you subscribe to? Betterhelp.com. <laughs> Betterhelp.com has helped me through all of my relationships. Every time I've ever fell off mentally and wanted to end it all, I contact the people at BetterHelp. And remember, it's people that are very discreet. They won't tell all your business. It's not over the counter. Betterhelp.com. Make sure you use my promo code today. Thriller slash 50. Betterhelp.com. This man made me so sick. <laughs> <laughs> not this. Do the smile again. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I slid that in there so clean. Bro. Hey, it was right time for that therapy session, man. <laughs> Betterhelp.com. You saved me too from that one. But communication and everything. I mean, every relationship gonna have their problems and stuff. And women, we just like to be reassured. We like to feel comfortable. Make me feel, make me feel like I'm your a priority. You know, don't just be treating me like I treating me like any kind of way. And, no, you're you know not supposed to be a tyrant over a woman. The Bible yeah. says don't be a tyrant over a woman. Exactly. But I got a question for you. Come is, on now. I got a question for you. you know is, that Bible. Uh, do you give a man the same respect if you if you messed up? Do, do you give him the same respect that you, if he give you? So like if you cheat on me and I don't trip, like I, I still cordial with you. And then let's say you catch me, you all oh, you 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 down my back. You 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 is it the same or you just over the top? Over the top. Over the top. So you don't lie. give him the same respect he gave I ain't, you. I ain't, I'm different. You can't expect you out of me. Yeah, I can't expect that. You see what I'm saying? You yeah. I'm 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 different. I might be in this a little more deeper than you is. It might have hurt me a little more de- differently than it hurt you. You might don't, ain't gonna trip, cause you know you don't did, you don't had 50 goddamn side chicks. Yeah. So you ain't gonna be as mad as me. Hey, but uh, yo, Erica, isn't it easier for you to just, you know, carry on <laughs> with guys <laughs> instead of just having a boyfriend these days? Say, say that again. I say, isn't it easier for you 
to just carry on with guys and you know uh, uh, conduct yourself inside a situationship manner than to be, have a boyfriend you know because you you have these same problems with relationships right I mean, being that I, you are on the road you know doing your thing yeah it's hard it's, it's hard, hard right it's, it's, it really is hard see that's what I see that's what I be dealing with you got a lot of boyfriends I'm too. A, no I know I do not have a lot of boyfriends that's my problem I get with one dude, and I just be want to be with that one That's nigga. That's stupid. Don't tell me that because I be saying it too. I be feeling lame and hell it is, too. That shit but I, I that's just me. I don't want you putting too much pressure on one nigga. You know what I'm saying? And nah. You you, you are a lot of woman, and so you have to spread yourself around and whatnot and see what you like. You need a little variety. You know, it's just like a, a dating is is like having mm -hmm. a uh, sushi platter. It's you know, not, it's not that easy because I don't deal with like okay. I don't deal with like like lanes and shit like that. Like everybody I deal with, like like uh, how can I? You know what I'm saying? Like you say it. Say it might it. be a problem. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't, you know, I don't have so many niggas I know don't die this year over female shit. You hear me? Cause they play so much. I don't play with niggas. When if, if I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm not finna pull you in to shit cause you know that. these niggas kill about these women you know what I'm saying I don't play with no nigga like that especially if I love you I ain't finna play hold, with you hold on excuse me Erica uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong but acknowledge me if I'm right are you saying that you date only thugs <laughs> only thugs <laughs> I didn't hear you what you say <laughs> <laughs> they like you know they they you know thuggish gangster like, she like oh. niggas that don't have sense and they how got, old are these niggas they got yeah, sense how old are these? They How got old are they? They of age. I'm saying, what's they ain't, they, age? I mean, I, no more of y'all. No more of y'all generation. Well, I'm saying they like 45 year old thugs. They tripping. They not just tripping. thug like that. Yeah. It's just the niggas that ain't gonna play no that games. Let me like them young. Cause I, what's not playing games? I don't. We don't understand. What's not I playing like, games? Like OGs. They just ain't. I ain't. I ain't fuck with like no. No. You know what I'm saying? They gonna no. Just. Oh, I say OGs like that. What's an OG? What what get, put this on? Just because you're old don't mean you're an OG. No, I don't mean you're. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's I'm very a, true. I'm an OG. I ain't old. I'm an OG, but I'm just saying. I mess with guys that you know what I'm saying. Be about you know what I'm saying. I I I ain't gonna mess with nobody that I know that. My put. I don't. How can I? I don't know how to explain this shit. It's just that yeah, I'm you, you, you say you want a nigga to walk around with a pistol on. No, it's not that. Yeah. It's, it's not that's what I want. It's just did five years. Yeah, a nigga that, that, that just um you don't you don't you don't be in danger, but he'll start some shit you like to see no, him no, no. defend you in situations you that ain't. I, I be around for I, I'm safe with. Where do you need to be safe at? <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> where, where, where are you? That's what. <laughs> <laughs> is the world is dangerous yeah. uh, Erica we would have never moved here we'd have knew you had to have a goddamn gun <laughs> to walk through the neighborhood no I'm just saying it's just you know what I mostly be dealing with so I just don't even if it's it can be like a nerdy dude I'm just ain't finna just bring no dude into a situation that I know it can cause some type of friction where, where do you usually go on dates at oh, Mm -hmm. Where do you usually what's a what's a hot date to you? Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta don't even know you gotta that. help us out. Please I don't even know like the last time I've been on like a hot date because I be gone so much. I, I be gone. I'm gone. Okay. So she got situations. Okay. I so, got them too. I mean, I got that too. So but. she knew what it was. The whole so time. are you are you 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 cool with a, a <laughs> nice little quiet Netflix and chill night? Yeah, yeah, I do that. Okay, when do I need to protect you at your house? No, I'm not saying that. It's just that I be dealing with, you know what I'm saying? I just don't be dealing with, like, I don't know. You like, say I, it. I just don't, I, I just told you I deal with, like, street, like, my phone being in the streets, like, not like, like. You hit the shooters. Is that what you saying? Something like that. Something like that. If you went there, you Yeah, but that's why I don't fuck with other niggas. I ain't gonna try to add you're more shit. No, no, I don't be scared I'm gonna get shot. It's just that I just don't do that. I'm just saying that was just type of dudes I've just been dealing with lately. But I want, even if I were dealing with like a nerdy school dude, it don't even matter. I just don't be messed with most of the dudes because female is the core of a lot of killings nowadays. 
It's the truth. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Yeah, because well, females are setting a lot of niggas up. Not to know. They're not just saying no. They just play fucking game. Like, yeah. fuck with this nigga, fuck with that nigga, then you know what type of but nigga sometimes, this nigga is. But sometimes it don't even really be the females, though. It, it be, be the man. It be sap ass niggas yeah. that just be in their feelings. I know a dude. Yeah. He was a good dude, man. He was a uh, sold insurance and all kind of crazy shit. Well, not crazy. Like, good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was a good dude. Like, he, yeah. he sold insurance and investments and stuff like that. But long story short, he, was, uh, he did taxes. He was dating this girl that he probably knew for like two months, <coughs> 60 yeah. days. Her ex-boyfriend tracked him down and murdered him. And didn't do nothing to her, but he was just mad that he caught his ex-girlfriend with somebody with somebody else. else. Yeah, and and that wasn't minded. even his uh, like Main he wasn't even his girl. girlfriend. He was just dating, like getting to know Kicking somebody. You see know what I'm saying? Like imagine knowing a woman for two months and you end up losing your life over her because she got a crazy ass boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Who yeah, just imagine like with Trouble one night. And gone, life gone. Life gone one night. And you know you got a crazy nigga. You know this nigga got a key. I don't see, but I don't understand what the concept, what the concept of even being, putting yourself in them type of positions if you know that you're dating someone that has crazy people that's involved with. Like if you tell me niggas is, um, uh, uh, you got a crazy boyfriend or some shit like that to be doing psycho shit. I'm not fucking with you. I'm not coming over there. And, yeah. and, and that's see that's see that's the problem. These females don't be telling you. They don't be telling you what's going on like with third, I got like a sense of it though. Yeah, yeah. Then feel you the got to be better at it. They'll tell you these stories. If they if They'll you if you, you have story. one yeah. too uh-huh. many crazy nigga stories, yeah. then yeah, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> yeah. That shit's stupid. Yeah, that's right. that's that's on you. You have a you have a type. Well the one right. I gotta do is listen. Yeah. yeah, one she gonna tell you. Gonna she gonna tell you exactly. They what. gonna tell you. Yeah, that's true. You gotta be listening. Or some of them don't tell you and be playing. Be trying to get get back with another nigga. You know what I'm saying? Be trying to, you know, you know how how they do. Be trying to get the revenge or they lit back and start fucking around mm-hmm. or whatnot. Knowing this nigga is weak minded, but they might not know the nigga weak minded. But the, a lot of these niggas just weak minded and and. No nah, man, when my homie said, "Hey man, my homeboy girl slid my." In my DM, man, we figure out you do. I said, man, leave that girl alone, nigga. Yeah, she trying to alone. use you. What the fuck, she nigga? Trying to you... use you. Oh, don't no. Slide, don't slide you, don't slide your nigga, old girlfriend. The... She trying to use you. Banana in the tailpipe. Hey, hey, all, all pussy ain't good for you, man. No. Don't do it, man. Not... It ain't all good for we you. We was just talking about this shit last week about leave your homeboy girlfriends alone. Oh, You're not even supposed to be friends with your your homeboy girl. No. You not even supposed to be t- y'all ain't your friends is your friend, her friends is her friend. Right. Stay stay the fuck out of that shit cuz when niggas break up, you you uh, uh, you, should, you supposed to break up with her. Yeah. You 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 don't you don't see her no more either. Yeah, that's me. We all we all, we all, up we all It's too many up. people in the world for you to be fucking with somebody that your friend used to fuck with. It's too many people. Leave him alone. It, it don't even make sense. You, you, uh, it, my cousin come my house, man. I agree. He won't even talk to you. She go hi. He be like, yeah. Uh, oh, hey, Terrell, what's going on, man? Like, he won't even holler. He won't barely say hi. Mm. Mm. That's how I go. That's how it's supposed to go. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. I'm not saying he, uh, he got to that extent, but yeah, he ain't gonna, come on, bro. It's, it's a cold with some things, man. Not your partner. How, that's, how that's long? Your how partner. long? How long do the friendship gotta be if that not be able to cross that line? It's a friendship. Never. Come on. What if it's like one of these? Okay, we all in the industry. What if it's like one of these fake industry friends? We all know we got industry friends. If it ain't your, your, if it ain't your, but really they ain't your friend. You can't call them and ask them to uh, pick you up because you got a flat tire. You know what I'm saying? We all, we all. There's a bunch of fake industry damn. friends around here. Because he said that, that shit too. He was like, man, I don't know the nigga for about. I don't know the nigga for about a year. I said, God. Yeah, that, that nigga gonna fuck your girl, That nigga gonna fuck your girl, That nigga about to knock that and shit and back. I was single and I wanted it, I probably would have went for it. But if it's like my, my, my blood, my partner, somebody I played in the sandbox with and we done, and I know they been together for five, so him and his girl was together for six years. Now they going through some rocky shit. She trying to get back at him and flirt with me or something. Nah, we turn that down all day. But if it's just okay. like somebody that I just, oh, what up, homie? Oh yeah, what up? chop it up in the club. Oh, you are not gonna back, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Erica told y'all how women don't reveal enough information and you just end up getting cheated. That situation right there, your partner might not even reveal how he actually feels about it. Right. The nigga always be lying. Oh, do do you that. like her like I don't yeah, like her like her. I don't do that. Yeah, I don't like her like that, but be okay. in love with her. 
Yeah. I don't be. I don't promote nothing, man. I'll be like, man, shit was trash. It's terrible, man. It's bullshit. Even just by you, the 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 thought of him of of you being with him gonna trigger a nigga. Man, he gonna trigger you. Yeah, you damn right. They gonna trigger. He don't care. Man, that pussy was trash. That shit was garbage. That shit was bad. It, it ain't like, worth it. Nigga, it ain't like, worth like it. Trash and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be up there. And nigga be gonna be like, it wasn't trash like, to me. She was throwing that shit back to me. Then he gonna just be thinking about how you was in that thing. Mm. Man, man. That's a that's a whole nother. Nigga, I start uh, lying, man. Thing. She got the clap. <laughs> that bit burnt me. That's that's how you got. Yeah, that, that's how you got to keep niggas off your girl. That bit burnt me. That bit burnt me, man. Burnt the fuck out, that one, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that, man, you know that bit gave me boy. AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> no. Nigga gonna leave. Yeah, no. if you want if you want a nigga to leave your girl alone, man, you know that bit gave me AIDS, man. No. <laughs> bit burnt the fuck out of me. Burnt the fuck out, man. <laughs> This man. <laughs> like that, and every time they see you with a new girl, they be like, "Hey man, I thought you said you had AIDS." Oh no, she do too. I met on uh, 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 AIDS uh, meetaids.com. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we. That, you got to throw niggas out. The, you got to throw niggas off the scent. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, it has to be that it, that uh, 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 extreme for you to keep niggas up out your business. You got, it got to. I got a cousin. He won't do nothing but holler at ugly female. Wow. 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 I'm talking about wow. like, that's all he want. I got Why? you. I understand. Nobody holler at him. Yeah. That, that, that's I'm crazy. I'm talking about they be yeah, some he, boy. He insecure then. Boy. I mean, but it's multiple, so he ain't safe. Yeah, because. He ain't safe for me. Yeah, yeah. But do you know how sexual. <laughs> do you. <laughs> dog, do you safe. know how, how sexually active ugly women is? Active. They active than a motherfucker. <laughs> They they fucking all day and night. N- niggas I'm on it. About some ugly ass motherfuckers out here. Yeah, yeah. Sexually active. You they know, they on right. it's on and popping. It's yeah. on and popping. Goddamn. Yeah, hey, man. but you, you, um, just to pivot real quick, cause we've been talking about that for a minute. Um, yo, T. Rail, I didn't hear Tank say, "Dog, you, you can sing your ass off, but when you gonna goddamn uh, uh get on some shit that ain't got no samples in it and make a song?" I didn't hear. Seven, eight songs, man. What are you, what Tank talking about? Oh uh, man, I got so, plenty of songs with no samples. A lot of my first singles with no samples. Mm. My one of my biggest songs, my dog, no sample. Mm. Um, it's just sampling something I like to do. It came along recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's the new wave. Yeah, I'm I'm busting. I, I shoot. Yeah, what's your favorite sample? And give me like a little sample. The ones I've done or ones that I want, ones I want to do. Either one, whatever you feel like singing. Uh. The one that I've done so far probably be, uh, I sampled Tyrese. Which one? Falling in love with you. I love that song. How, yeah. how the song go? Let me hear how it go. Uh, here's mine. Okay. Mine? Your, yours. All of this crying, we were just writing, breaking all the rules. Retaliation ain't no biggie, it get tragic. We about that action, everything get worth reactions. Ooh. Been many streets, you know it's hard to smile. I need so much dirt, I'm dealing with this karma now. Gotta chill, I got a daughter now. Tears running on my cheek, they gun my party down. Okay. Ooh. Come on now, come on now. Yeah, yeah I, I think I think Blue Paul was just looking for a reason to kick you out. When he heard that voice, he like, you know what? Nah, this nigga ain't finna take my show. <laughs> F- he said something to boost it. <laughs> He said something boosted. Nah, I tell him to go ahead. Somebody call him, tell him he ain't going with me. T Red, why you get yourself involved in that shit? Man? I didn't get involved. Yeah, you did, man. He was all on the Breakfast Club and all, 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 all on the blog. I, I, I and didn't shit. get involved, man. Nigga, you had that made it on a goddamn name brand ass tour. <laughs> I'm over here rooting for you and shit. And I like, <laughs> you done got yourself into some boosty shit. Nah, man. Boosty called me, man. I'm trying to tell you the truth, man. <laughs> Okay, check. So Blue Blue hit me on Instagram. He was like, "Hey, bro." He sent me a flyer. He was like, "You want to go on tour with me?" I'm like, "Hell yeah!" For free dates. Yeah. For free. For free. Oh, okay, it's okay, cause you know nigga be trying to make you yeah. pay fifty thousand a city. It was, it was for free. He, okay. he hit me up. Then he was saying, "I'm gonna hit the promoters up and get it all set up." Okay. Bet. So then he hit me back and said, "All right, I got it all set. I'm on what? How many dates was it? Twenty dates. Twenty dates." Then mm-hmm. I say about a week later, his manager called. And he was like, hey, man, I don't think you're going to be able to go on the tour. 
And then I, I saw I rolled blue, like, boy, hey, I done canceled a lot of shit to go on this tour with you. I canceled a lot of shit to go on this tour with you. All right, man, you good. He was like, he was like, you good. Boom. I'm back, now I'm back on the tour. Then his manager called again and said, oh, we gonna drop you down to five dates. You, uh, then Blue hit me up like, we gonna drop you down to five dates. You a security risk. We think you're a security risk because you cool, you cool with Boosie and this and that. You a security risk. I'm like, security, security risk. But then, here's the fucked up part. What you just say? It's about the money, right? About Two money. weeks later, not about a week later, he said, his manager called my manager and said, hey, uh, if you want to pay a little money, we give you about six, seven more dates up in the East Coast. Bitch, I thought we was a security risk. Right. If I'm a security risk, I, what, what you talking about? I thought I was a security risk. Now you giving me more dates. I'm cool. I'll just keep my. I'll just keep the uh, the dates that you gave me, bro. I still. Uh, I, it's cool. I'm gonna try to closet. try to try to ride back. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> then I get a call. From, I was in. I did a show. I get a call from Boosie. He's, he's dropped this album. He said, "Rel, I need some hooks. I'm about to drop my deluxe album." I said, "Oh, that, okay. Shit, send me some shit over. Man. Come on, bro." Boosie, somebody that helped me in the game that put me on. Yes, me too. I'm, I'm talking about, no, my dog, T. Rail took me on my first tours, came to my city, performed with me. Come on, bro, that's my friend. And Blue knew me through Boosie. Yes. It ain't like you, if I, you know what I'm saying? He knew me through Boosie. That's like me going to D.C. through Carlos. And, knowing, and you get mad at them too. I met you through them too. Right. So what I'm saying is, when he hit me up about it, uh, when Boosie posted me that uh, T. Rail liked my album, then I get a call, no matter than five minutes his manager going off for me and uh, going off of Matt going going off just going at my character usually I'm real calm cool I let nigga, you know how you just sit there and people just keep talking about you and they keep talking about you and they keep talking about, uh, eventually I snap hey brother let me, hey that ain't my character I'm not no backdoor person I ain't sitting here I ain't got no I ain't got no problem with y'all with nobody y'all business ain't my business kick me off tour kick me off tour then Boosie came with that video you a clown I'm kicking T-Rell off tour Man. Then, then I'm on every vlog and then pop. I ain't, boy, I, boy, I was like, oh, boy, this is crazy. I ain't, Man. DJ Vlad ain't never posted T-Rail. Hey, hey, you know what, what, what they said, what, um, what the devil, um, mean for bad, God would turn on, turn it for your good. Turn but it for, turn good. for my good. My, yes. I got, it gave me, it gave me time to sit down. I opened my second lounge. I'm, I'm not opening yet. I'm working on my, I got my, uh, my own lounge now in Topeka, Kansas, where I'm from. I got, um. I got, a, I got a club in Cincinnati. I own 25% of that. Then to turn around, I had time to actually sit and think. I got to be with my kids more. I got to play video games with my son. Being off the road for like them, them two weeks, and it, was, it, was a, it was a new life. It made me feel regular again. You know, and I needed that. Like maybe God set me down for a reason. Yeah, that platform wasn't big enough for your you. Your popularity went up too. Oh, my popularity went up crazy. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I seen all that. Who did? Did I want to see you and this to your, um, your songs, I said, oh damn, Shada can sing. Jumping, then, yeah. then then I get then I get opportunity to go on tour, and I'm going on tour with Sukiana. Come on so now, so me and Look Sukiana, go, me and Sukiana now. going on tour together. Come on now, it gonna work. Uh, it starts October 11th at um, Morris Brown College. Come on now, I seen that. Yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, I didn't take no ill. The tour ended up getting canceled in the first place. You got see, I, 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 I ain't, that ain't for me to say anything. God said, be, be quiet. Peace, be, sti be, be, peace, still. be still. Be still. Be still. God said, be still. So, ain't that ain't for me. What's for me is just to follow gonna, my beliefs and keep going. Yeah. And it, everything's gonna come along the right way. He it was wrong for, it, but I just, it hurt me the most because I felt he was my friend. Right. I felt yeah. like somebody I, I came up with it a little bit four or five years well, see, traveling with about them fake industry friends. You got real lot industry of friends, but you got some fake industry friends too that's gonna do that type of shit. They yeah. they envy you. They look jealous of you. They don't want to see you overdo what you do, what they doing. I'm no type of motherfuckers. I'm fucking they bitch all day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, karma come around, bro, and come around if it's, if it's on his own real time. Friend, now we do got real friends in the industry, and we do build real connections. But yeah. you know when you got that fake friend who just here temporarily. To, to this day, I say the realest person I've uh, I've ever dealt with is DC Young Fly. And I don't care. That's one of the realest person I ever deal wow. with. Come to the city, answer the phone. If he's busy, answer the phone. If he's busy, he text me back and call me right back. You know what I'm saying? God, that's a real, that's a real one right there, bro. Yeah, I, I, I remember one time I called DC. DC I said, "Hey, bro, you in my city for a show? Uh, can I do the after party? How much you gonna charge me for the after party? Let me do the after party. Nigga, I don't want no motherfucking money from you." Now you know that nigga wants some money. Nigga wants some money, bro. That's fly. When that man just come through for me and just do the party for me, off like that, bro. 
I gotta pass that down to the next person that one that, that, that need me like that. Yes, that makes me want to do that for the next person. That's what it's yeah. for. That type of realness. Okay. You know yes. what I'm saying? So you you don't just take for yourself that that that's that 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 inspired me to do that for somebody. That realness that of that one situation. Yeah. You wanna yeah. find real people like that. Cause yeah. we all coming up. We we all want the same thing. We all want the fans and, and to to but really it ain't about that. It's about providing. And I did this to take care of my children. You know, I did this to be to do to do what I'm doing. I, sh- I got time. I want to I want to play video games like I was them last two weeks with my son. Yeah. I want to do that every day. Yeah. But I got to be out here hustling. If we gonna be out here hustling together, we might as well work as teammates. You don't hear this with country music. You don't hear this with rock. You don't hear this with any other wow. brand but hip hop and R and B. Yeah, that's true. Why we why, we it's like a stepping on each other. Let's step together and then do something. I, I'm I'm just preaching to like dead water. I mean, but when you yeah. find someone that you can link with. That shit gonna work, bro. That shit gonna work. One hundred percent, bro. One hundred percent. So, like, uh, who is some of your influences coming up? Who, who, who you be modeling yourself after? Who um, inspired you? I grew up an R and B guy. I was raised by women, so all I heard was R and B. So I'm like, you know, Jamie Foxx is, you know, that's why I do a lot of content and I'm, I, I mix R and B with comedy type. My stage set is real funny, but it's still serious at the same time. Oh. So Jamie Foxx really one of my biggest. First people I watch, he I'm, he he wasn't always on top on music, but his, he was always on top on entertainment. Period. Yeah. He's yes. not just a musician; he's a whole en- entertainer. Yeah. I, I see myself as a whole entertainer. I can get online and teach you about Walmart clothes, or I can go sing to your girl the next song, or I can get real emotional pain with it. I got to learn to play instruments. I can do. I'm funny. I can act. So yeah, like person like Jamie Foxx and uh, Tyrese. I really like Tyrese when I was a kid. His voice. I mimic a lot of my voice after his. That because he had that low raspy tone, I mm-hmm. I really wanted that low raspy tone like his. Yeah. Real that that real soulful pain pain music. Tyrese is super underrated. That yeah. nigga voice is crazy. Yeah, man. And and he's extremely funny, extremely intelligent. Man, I I I love Tyrese. Yeah, then yeah, man. Then like music wise, like writing, like I get an argument with my manager all the time because he want me to be like this cuddly, uh super soft R&B artist. I'm not him, you know what I'm saying? I'm more of a street, you know what I'm saying? I'm more like, I like to, like, man, R. Kelly's been in the video with the do-rag zone, the beaters, he yeah. be out there singing, he thugging with the braids. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's yeah. the R&B I give you. Yeah. You know, like, I'm, I'm that singer. I'm not the, come on, baby. Uh, I move like a rapper. I'm a singer that moves like a rapper. Mm, mm. You know, most R&B singers, they, they, they move like real singers, not T-Rail. I move like a rapper. Booking me like booking Boosie. You know, I'm coming with my with 30 people. We singing R&B. And we taking all the females, and we gonna have a great time that night at the hotel. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just curious. Hey, Lois, why you want them to be cuddly? And what, what's your what's your your mo with that? What you see that he don't see? Cuddly corporate. So when I look at Tank, when I look at Eric Billinger, when I look at all these guys that's R&B, when I look at us, we R&B. When I look at Chris Brown, he pop, he, he kind of crossed over to pop. He do whatever he wants. But when I look There is an R&B lane. Did he understand this? Did he start in Love Records before Diddy started in Love Records? There wasn't even an R&B on Billboard. Understand that. So when mm-hmm. he started in Love Records and having power, now he's changing shit for R&B. But for real, real's an over our artist. He could be on TV, he could be on TV shows, he could do music, he could do all types of stuff here, character creation. So the corporate is more, uh, you know, Boosie may not get to Jay-Z level. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I understand exactly yeah, what you're I know. saying. Hey, I know, so, yeah, I know so, what you're so saying. So we're potential to get to certain levels. Yeah. And to the other people, we may not be able to get to certain levels uh, doing certain things. That's true. But God. there's rugged R&B singers that made it to those levels. What about Bobby Brown? Yeah, what about but, what about R. Kelly? He made hey, it past hey, all hey, of what, what, what Jay Z said? Everybody wants to be Bobby Brown, yeah. but in order to be Bobby then, but, you got to be Bobby, Bobby now. now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Right, right. That's true. Hey, hey, bro, do you know how expensive rugged. it is to be a real nigga? That's true. It's yeah. too expensive to he it tell, costs he, too much. He's telling you right. Yeah, he telling he telling you right. He, I'm with Los. I'm with Los on it, but I understand him. He don't want to lose his identity. Yeah, that's why you gotta but balance. You it. gotta just learn how to balance. Yeah, it out. so I give him, I give you them. Okay, okay, Erica. Let, let, Let's see, let's go with you real quick. Come Same on. subject. Now, off the rip, would you say some people said that you was a little 
too uh rugged or yeah. and but then Bold you had word. to find that balance, Bold right? Word. Yeah, yeah, I had to find the balance in it. Yeah, because everybody ain't true. ready. I even changed my name because my name used to be E Dub Duchess. Mm. But if folks were like, if you gonna you if you want to be a star, you need to um change that name. I'm like, what? Change my name? But then it dawned on me, I do need to change that because I see. First of all, we are very intimidating people. Yeah. Like, just let it just be honest. We That's why very, I smile all the time. Yeah, we very intimidating. Ali told you, you me you can't saying? be big and, and frown and, all the time. And a lot of people, a lot of these people are not talented. They just making it because they're likable. Facts. You feel me? They just likable. So when you have the talent, you have a God gifted talent. I have a God gifted talent. I never wanted to be a comedian, none of this. So when you have those type of talents and gifts, you have to you have to play the game. You have to play the game and, 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 and smooth out what we, my upbringing, like me. Like, a lot of these, when I first started comedy, I'm like, all these niggas lame as fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to me, because they not, they not where I'm from. They like corner to me. Then I had one nigga like stole my joke, and I like, nigga, that's like, you short stopping. Yeah. So I had to check that nigga, in the, but then I had to realize like, these niggas really not, like where I'm from, they not, they might can't, comprehend it so let me just ease myself down and learn how to get we see the, the good thing about us we know how to cope to their world they don't know how to cope to my world our world for sure so i can get on a level to adjust you know what i'm saying yeah and i ain't gonna well, lose i'm always keep it g though i'm always gonna keep it yeah, g I ain't, yeah. I ain't going too far left right i ain't gonna go too far nah, left bro. but i do want i know sometimes i, I like i like yeah. i like drake you know i like i like how he can still do this and do that. Yeah. I like Chris Brown. He it, can do this. He get, hold on, Drake will get his security to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and he don't do this. He'll get his security to do that, and they've done it to a lot of niggas. You come up there talking shit to Drake, he like, uh, he'll turn his back, and them security will goddamn <laughs> take you up through there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think you, you I think you get me wrong because I'm not talking about on that aspect. I'm just talking oh, about my, 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 I'm sorry. I'm on the image wise. His, his like, image. Yeah. Yeah, like Ty Dolla Sign get to be a cool R&B nigga. Mm-hmm. You know, he he, he ain't. He, he, you see him different. You see a tank like you say. Tank is a, a clean cut, smooth. But R&B he will guy. beat your mother fucking ass. Facts. I yeah. seen him do it. He ain't no. T- he ain't no. I ain't saying he ain't no bitch. No. But I'm saying like he, his image is genuine R&B. to beat your ass too. It's smooth. Yeah. But yeah. I asked Tank one day. This is the, I asked Tank. I was we was at uh we was in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I said Tank, bro, we was we part. I said write me one of them uh the nice R and B songs you be doing. He said brother. <laughs> That's how he talked to you. You, you. you don't need no good, sweet R&B song. You the bad boy. Mm. That came out of Tank's mouth. Cause he know my image. He know how. He know how I get down. Women like. Women like the bad boy. Don't want. Women like bad boys. Yeah. I'm the bad big boy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting my belly on your back. You, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm taking my shirt off at the show. Mm. You ain't about to ruin me. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be at the. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to take my shirt off at the show. I want to be. I want get my Joe to see on. Man, you know? take it off, man. Yeah, take take it off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I'm just, but it's okay. It's okay. Just there's an on and off switch. Balance. Yeah, what he doing? He leave you right? Cause I still people still have to. I got kids, like grown kids. They still have to groom. But I make those type of songs too, though. I'm very versatile. Yeah, see, you got to be versatile. See, you know it. Yeah, you just a little thick headed. Yeah, you know you're a little stubborn. Yeah, I got I got to come up with the idea. Yeah, yeah, but you but don't be like you know don't let don't smell the shit to realize that it's stank. No, this got to let me come up with the idea. Somebody already giving you a, a sample of it and telling you that's the, that's the gift that you have. A lot of folks don't get that. They just dry their stuff in the road. They crash. That's right. If you oh, yeah. got somebody here that's telling you, hey, don't go down that road right there. Hey, it's okay, but let it. Let's just make a U-turn right here. Let's just say I'm the wild one, man. It's okay to listen. Yeah, we got. It's a, it's a good balance. You got. You, yeah. You got, it's a good balance. You got to have positive and negative. That how they how they balance each other out. Yeah. Yeah, me and my son got a show together called Best Buddy. See, there's my corporate. There it is for y'all. That show okay. <laughs> that show has the good side. You know, ain't nothing ratchet in it. Mm-hmm. It's just me and my son. He has Down syndrome. His name is Jordan. He, uh, he's 14 years old now. The show's called Best Buddies. It's on my YouTube. I had it on a network, but I had to fight to get it back. I got it back, and now I'm dropping it myself. And I'm about to push for the second season to go bigger. 
So I'm just really doing this, for, getting the first season out the way because I want people to really grasp what I'm doing. I believe that people with Down syndrome, people with any disability are beautiful people. And they, some people just don't know how to deal with them. Yeah. And I'm going to show the world how to deal with them through how I parent. And, um, and show them that they're beautiful people. My son has Downs. He, shoot, he's more happier than I ever be. But he had yeah. cancer. He smiled through it. He had a tumor in his right testicle. Smiled through it. I'm talking about didn't didn't, didn't act like he was hurt. Nothing. I mean, want to play? Want to go trampoline? If that was me, I'd be balled up crying like a little baby. Yeah. Well, I got cancer. You know, he he's what we doing? You know, he he's a kid. And I'm, I feel I believe that people with disabilities are beautiful. And Best Buddies shows that in in each and every way. Autism, yeah, Down syndrome, anything. I used to work with um a lot of um like. Disabled. Disabled um, people, like, when I worked at Publix, because at Publix, they hire everybody. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know, like, people with Down syndrome, like, the women are so horny. I didn't know that they, yeah, y'all didn't know that? They, they mm -hmm. sex drive is, like, skyrocket, like, high. Like, not trying to change the subject, but <laughs> while we were talking about it, <laughs> we were talking about <laughs> My, no, but I, <laughs> the kids, the two, the two clubs. No, no, it just made me think. It made me think. No, it made me, th no, we about no, it made me think back of the girl Karen, 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 Karen. I used to work with at Publix. She used to be mad at me because she used to like the uh, white dude toning, and she thought I used a light toning, and she be trying to hunch toning in the um where the bosses and stuff was it's just my bad but yeah and that you told her real name too and where she work at <laughs> oh well it was years ago when i worked at the public you know up the like on the north side but yeah wow you told us what public school <laughs> <was there. laughs> my bad i didn't know they sis driver that high so get ready for it if that i mean my son is already yeah, I'm telling you. On it, he'd be like, where's my girlfriend? He got a girlfriend. So I you. took him on his first date. Yeah, I told you. Uh, I, I took him on his first date on the, on there. I did Jordan Fitness Day, which is the funniest episode of all the episodes, because he was not listening to the trainer at all. He your um, only one? Uh-huh. He your only child? My only child? No, I have three children. Oh, okay. But Jordan, Jordan, he's my, that's what the show about me and him. Um, my other children are on there as well. But Jordan, he, uh. Yeah, I took him to play basketball camp. I took him to basketball camp with Ben McLemore. Um, he enjoyed that. Hella. Ben, ben actually really cool with Jordan. When he had cancer, Ben played a game against the Portland Trailblazers with the shoes on and signed them for him. So that, they tell a story about that in the, um, in the show. And you got doctors in there explaining explaining about uh, the symptoms, like how Down, Down syndrome is formed and stuff like that. It's real informational. Children should watch it. Because maybe because you ever been in school and you, you go to class, you see the – the, the the classes that they have for for special needs kids, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you always wonder, you always wonder. This show is gonna teach you that they they regular, they cool, for real. Do you, did you start a, a new YouTube channel directly for this show, or is or it's on your same YouTube channel with all your music? Same channel, all my music. That's you know, I, 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 my son deserved them subscribers. So the fans can find it easy. Yeah, right there and easy. Right. Just put it. You can make a playlist in your in your YouTube. I just made it his own playlist and it goes to my subscribers. But he, uh, he, Jordan almost had 10K followers himself. And I just started his page. And the fans really grabbing him really fast. They love him. Um, I, I'm, I got a children's book getting done for him. I'm going to take him on his own tour when spring break come. It's like 10, 15, like 10 cities. And let him let him sign his book and take pictures with his What fans. grade he in? Ninth grade? Yeah. Jordan is 14, so he, he's in uh, eighth grade. Okay. Middle school. Yeah. What's the best part of being a father for you? Yeah. Uh, the love you get from the, the uh, just the watching them grow, for real. Just like my youngest son Chris, just to see where he come from, just to see, just to see how articulate he gets and the shocking things that they say to you. You know, after you go away for a weekend, you come back, they already learned ten more things that you didn't even know they learned already. And when I come back and I I just see that, it's just like, man, bro, I just want to know more about you. It's like I get to love and learn my son every time I come home. So it's like you get a best friend, you get a real person that really is there for you. You yearn for friendship, and the friendship's really right there next to you. It's within your child if you just give them the time. If you really give your children the time, they're they're the best friends you ever gonna have, because they, they you made them, they love you, 
Nine times out of ten, children are pleasers of their parents. They want to please. They want to do things to please their parents. Um, it down to conversation, how they speak to you. So you, you got your best friend right here. That's the best part about it. Really having a real best friend that you that you know loves you unconditionally. Yeah, that's true. I, I say it all the time. I birthed my best friend. Yeah, you can you can get your child a whooping. Whoop, whoop, whoop. They love you. 15, 20 minutes later, they ain't saying, "Man, fuck daddy, fuck mom." Yeah. They, they, hey, mama, can we go to Walmart? <laughs> I'm sorry, mama, that I did what I did. Can we go to Walmart? I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how kids are. That's the best part is getting that real, genuine love from them. Mm -hmm. mm. And seeing yourself in them. Yeah. You I, see, oh yeah. You see yourself in your kids. Yeah, I hate looking in the mirror and seeing my dad. Out. <laughs> yeah. Word, word. <laughs> So uh, let's go back to this this R and B. Are you signed with uh, R and B money? No, nah, I mean it's, no. Nah, Tank just helped me. Tank was just a real one. Got you. Tank just a real one. He uh want to see me win. I took got, you under his wing. I got a lot of love for Tank. Mm. Um, so he he had found you online. Uh, no, what happened one day? I did a um I was singing at this place called Main Stage in New York. Okay. And um, I wrote on Instagram, can't none of these R and B niggas out sing me. You may got more hits than me. Well, y'all ain't got the voice like me. Then Tank wrote on there. He was like, "Hey, young brother, you gonna re uh, I don't retire till next year." Then I wrote him. I said, "Hey, old fella, you gonna retire fucking around with me today?" And then we we got cool. We started talking back and forth. We made a few vlogs. We started talking back and forth. Then um, we actually I sent him a song on text, and he was like, "Nigga," and you know he sent that bitch right back. And then we met in Atlanta, shot the video. Then we just became friends, just talking, just hanging out. And then I went to LA. I already remixed I Deserve. And uh I went to Tank, I was at Tank's house. And I said, I just played it. And I just sang that motherfucker in front of him. He's like, oh, we clearing that. Because we had clearance issues from the first song we did together. That's why I never came out. So we had clearance issues. We couldn't get the clearance. You know, I like the remix. So when I remix his song, we clearing that. You know, he showed you how real he is. He showed how genuine he is. He brought me on stage with him and Jamie Foxx. He brought me on stage on many shows on some of his uh, tour dates that he when he goes when he goes out on his spot dates. Um, he shouted me out on Breakfast Club a few times. You know, and that he, yeah, I heard he, that. He didn't ask for no paperwork. Yeah, he just did that because he wants to see somebody yeah. win. Tank really wants to see somebody win. One hundred percent. He gonna he gonna Good push guy. for you. Yeah. So I got nothing but respect for him. He can call ask me for anything. I'm like, oh, so I'm you like have that. met Jamie Foxx. Yeah, I performed with Jamie Foxx and Tank in L.A. Oh, that's good. I, that was crazy to me. That's he brought me good. on stage, and I got to sing with them fellas. Huh? So, so yeah, and his, and his voice good. held up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. That was, hey, this is just my, sometimes my spirit get to talking. This is just my spirit saying you just stay consistent, stay positive, listen to Los over here. Los going to keep going over. A lot of people part ways in this game you know what i'm saying yeah i don't know what it is but my it's just my spirit saying he 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 don't want them but the best for you oh for sure he no don't i, got, them, I, I, got I don't for, know nothing about him i got a lot of love for carlos i don't know i nothing listen about him, but i listen to just, him listen to him my own time but yeah and <laughs> you you just don't let these women i don't know what it's just something i don't see i just see something don't let these women get you caught up no nah. Mm -mm. I, I told you I ain't got no time to be no Romeo. Yeah, but you might get some of that stuff that might sl Romeo gonna slow it down. Make you, make you go crazy when there's some stuff out there. I, I love my music too much, man. Yeah, yeah but that coochie got a whole nother song for your ass. <laughs> right, man. And I'm gonna sing it. <laughs> I sing everything I go through. Yeah, you be, be careful with that good coochie out there. Yeah, <laughs> Sometimes you gotta switch it up. Get yeah. inside that booty hole, man. Oh, well, look here, man. You that... going out there with Suki with the good coochie? Definitely going outside with Suki with the good coochie. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> she be eating his ass. Yo, yeah. Yeah, yo, 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 come on, man. Come on now. You better not let her eat your ass. Hold oh, no. on. <laughs> come on now. Say that for Jack. You hear okay, me? Yeah, my yeah. butt is open wide. Oh, my God. Is there anything you like to say to. Um, New Jack Thriller City, man, before we get up out here, my boy. Man, I just want everybody to find peace in your heart, love each <laughs> other. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you want me to sing that song? Yeah, man, if, you, yeah I want to hear you sing again. I, I like your voice. You want me to live in just enough for the city I'm living just enough oh, in the new Jack Thriller City. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs>
Boom. Yeah, that was hard. That was hard. That take was hard. us out, baby. Let's take some pictures. Act thriller. City.